Hello everybody, Izzy here. In this video, I will show you an easy and safe way to kill the dancer of the Borel Valley. After I lost to her about 20 times, I began to realize that getting anywhere near her equated to my death. I was using melee and magic and had kept failing. Then it occurred to me that sniping with a bow or crossbow was a possible option. And then I could stay really far away from her using manual aim to kill her. I was very relieved when this strategy worked and this video is me showing you the bow sniping strategy in action and you'll get to see exactly what I did in detail. I consistently used the pillars by getting on the opposite side of them from the boss. I also would get a little bit of a distance from the pillar because her swords can reach right through the pillar and get you. There is an attack that she uses not often. It's a more rare attack. But she thrusts her sword straight at you. Right there she did it. During the second phase of the boss she can thrust both swords straight at you. But luckily this isn't a one-shot kill maneuver like some of her other attacks. You might get hit with a few of these but it won't kill you. You just run to the next pillar and heal. So the basic strategy is to keep a far distance from the boss and get in sniping attacks whenever you can. You'll want to keep spinning the camera around and watching the boss so you can judge where and what you want to do next. You'll often have to change directions. I was running clockwise. I had to switch and start running counterclockwise because she had run in front of me. Sometimes you'll run diagonal across the room. You just want to run from pillar to pillar. Whichever is just the furthest distance from her. During the second phase of the fight, she pulls out a second sword and starts doing an insane spinning maneuver. There she just got out her two swords. You'll want to keep sprinting until she stops doing all of her crazy spinning.
often getting directly on the other side of a pillar. You can get it to where she kind of gets stuck on the opposite side. Like there, she's kind of stuck on the opposite side. And you can get in a lot of good sniping time. You don't want to get greedy and try to get in too many shots at once. If you use this technique, it will take a while. Probably 10 minutes or more. And it takes some patience. Sometimes you'll go to take a shot and end up having to cancel it. I used a crossbow during this fight because it did much higher damage than the bow that I have. If you have a higher damage bow, it might do better than the crossbow since you don't have to wait for the load time. The vast majority of the other Dark Souls 3 bosses I killed on the first attempt. A few took three or four tries. But when I got to this boss, I just couldn't win. And this is something that happens in Dark Souls games. Even to the best players. So I created this strategy because I got stuck on this boss and couldn't win. And I figured this technique might help someone else who was finding her impossible.
I hope this strategy helps if you're stuck on this boss like I was. I am doing a blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3 and also I'm playing offline and I'm making a series called Experiencing Dark Souls 3 where I'm going back over my gameplay footage and talking about all the profound qualities of the game. So check that out if you're interested. Bye-bye.